Developing now at noon, two people and a pet found dead behind an apartment door cautioning of carbon monoxide. Several other people are being treated and the entire apartment building has been evacuated as a precaution right now. This is still a very active scene. CBS 4's Joan Murray is there live in Fort Lauderdale with the developing details. Joan? Elliot, this is all going on at the building behind me, Sunrise Harbor Apartment. It is right near the uh, Intracoastal, just off Sunrise Boulevard, a fairly new building. We can tell you at this hour that the fire department has given the all clear and everyone has been allowed back into the building. The very scary moments in the morning when a 911 call came in, somebody reporting uh, that a note was tacked to a door that this potentially poisonous, deadly gas was in the air. Fort Lauderdale Fire Rescue called to this high-rise apartment building across from the Galleria Mall after security found a note on a 15th floor apartment unit indicating there was carbon monoxide gas in the air. The first in crew made entrance into the apartment, uh, found high levels of carbon monoxide and uh, two victims and a dog. Uh, the victims were pronounced on scene. After that, fire rescue evacuated the building and checked the carbon monoxide levels. Fort Lauderdale's hazardous materials team checked all the apartments from the floor below all the way to the top floor and did find uh, high levels of carbon monoxide in the effective apartment and the adjacent apartments and then lowering levels of carbon monoxide as you went higher up into the building. Five people had to be treated for minor exposure. Stuart Goffman lives in the building and rushed home to check on his dog. It's obviously very sad. Um, I, I don't know what's going on. I, th thank, you know, thankfully, one of my neighbors called me because we don't know what's going on, so I just wanted to pick up my, uh, my dog, and it's sad, very sad. Now, this has now become a criminal investigation. Fort Lauderdale police are beginning their investigation. We do understand that this building does not have a natural gas line going into the, into the building. At this point, police are not saying what exactly was used to set off this carbon monoxide gas. We also do not know the identities of the two people who are deceased. More on this coming up at 5. Reporting live in Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.